morning, everyone. My name is Chris Beckman, and I'm the corporate chaplain for Ebenezer. And you're watching one of the reflections that we've been creating during this time of pandemic. This is reflection number 61, and the title of it is called Go to the Highest Place. When I was a junior in college, I had the opportunity to live and study in Sweden. In fact, I was placed in a small folk school on one of the islands in the archipelago around Stockholm. It was a lovely place. The goal of my program was to learn the Swedish language and culture as best as I could. And the best way then, and perhaps it is even now, was a total immersion. So the goal for the year for me was not to speak a word of English the entire year. So my roommate was Swedish, all of my classes were in Swedish, even the television was completely in Swedish. It was a pretty hard first six months where I was never sure we were talking about the weather or food or even about theology. And they would ask me a question and I would say, ja, and jo visst, and most importantly, I would often say, y'all for store, which means I understand. Unfortunately, the reality was I didn't understand. So when December 22nd rolled around, which is about the time that you're watching this, my roommates woke me up before dawn and said, Chris, we're going to go do the soul up gongen. And I was like, well, what in goodness name is that? And they said, we're, we're bringing a bottle of something good to drink and glasses, and we're going to go to the highest point in Stockholm so that we can watch the soul up gongen. And for the life of me, I had no idea what they were talking about. But we went out, and it was so dark the morning of December 22nd. And we went to the highest point we could find in Stockholm and watched together as the sun rose up over the trees and came light once more. And as the dawn came and the sun rose again, we raised our glasses and toasted the sun returning, the soul up gongen. You see, Swedes have this wonderful tradition. Uh, they also know what the darkest night is, December 21st, the winter solstice. And if you think Minnesota is dark in the middle of winter, imagine what Stockholm, Sweden was like. And so Scandinavians will often go to the highest point on December 22nd, the morning after the longest night, and will go to the highest point so that they can see the sun rise. And then they will salute the sun because the sun is returning and darkness has not won out. I'm thinking of the beautiful poetic reality of that in our world today. You see, we have been living in a very dark time during this pandemic. And we have been hoping and praying in the midst of our darkness for glimmers of light. And here it comes in this week of the solstice, as we celebrate the sun returning, the sun which could not be overcome by darkness, the vaccines are coming. And we have a glimmer of hope that our lives and our wellness will all return, just like the sun does each year. So I invite you, dear friends, this week as the vaccines are coming out, that you will remember in your prayers. You may not go to the highest point around. You may not lift a glass to rejoice with the vaccines and the sun coming back. But I hope and pray in your hearts and minds and souls that you will remember those that have created these wonderful vaccines. That you will pray for the pharmacists and all those who are delivering these shots to people who are in need. And most importantly, I will pray for all of us that we'll be able to take the vaccines and that the vaccines will be as good as advertised and that we'll be able to return again to the lives that we once knew and cherished and hoped for. 
This morning I was up with my own boys and we went to the highest point around. We were up on the hill of St. Olaf College and we raised glasses in our pewter cups that we have used since they were little babies. Sometimes we would find a high point. Sometimes it was even just the top of the picnic table because that was the highest point for my little kids. But this morning when we raised our glasses, our pewter cups, we not only celebrated the sun returning and the belief and the hope that darkness was going to be overcome once more by the sunlight and the dawn returning. But this year in particular, as we raised our glasses at the Sol Upgongen, we also remembered in our prayers those that created these amazing vaccines. We remembered in our prayers the pharmacists and those who are giving the shots. And we remembered, especially in our prayers, all of us. And hope and pray that this glimmer of light that we now can see on this morning after the darkest night, when the vaccines are coming during this time of the solstice, and when winter will not overcome us, may our lives also return with the coming of the sun. Bye for now, my friends, and blessings on the journey.